in this box, I have something super, super crazy, uh, possibly rare. Um, well, I don't think it's going to be like super rare, but it's rare the fact that I couldn't find a lot of them to buy. Tense music here, guys. I paid like $11 for this, so not like super expensive. Pinnacle Studio version 7! And, check this out guys. So, thick booklet. CD. And, the original Dazzle. I was, that was poorly timed. That was poorly timed. Oh, who cares? The original, uh, I don't know, Dazzle. Yeah, so, let me tell you guys why I bought this, okay? So, I, I'm working on a speed test of Pinnacle Studio 22. I'm probably going to return that program. You know, like, if I don't get any solutions as, like, how to, you know, get my bugs fixed, which I probably won't. I'm tempted to buy Pinnacle Studio 21, because I think some of the issues I was having could be fixed. Like, there's another thing. But, then I was like, why don't I just grab the oldest version of Pinnacle Studio I can and do a speed test on that compared to the new one and see what we're looking at here so first of all uh this device right here is a dazzle let me take it out of its box here with the new dazzle or i don't know if this is the newest dazzle this is why i got like a few years ago so in the box you get no booklet everything's online now but you do get a cd comes with a uh, pinnacle studio get this out of the box Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle. Mm -hmm. And you do get uh, a little booklet detailing some basic installation stuff like that. And Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle is based off of Pinnacle Studio 16, I believe. And it's basically a very simplistic version of Pinnacle Studio. And when I was originally, it was what I was using with Studio. Then I had some bugs and stuff, and I knew I needed to upgrade to make this work as a business for transferring old media to the computer. And so, um, the new Dazzle does have S Video where the old one didn't. S Video is just a really good, it stands for Super Video. I do have a uh, Super VHS player. It's meant to give you better quality picture coming from an old tape or something. So the old one doesn't have that, but I'm curious to check out the quality of this. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not sharing my computer screen in this video right now. I just want to quickly, uh... uh okay, here we're back. So, uh, I lost audio there for a second. Um, but I did plug in the Dazzle, and it works. And I just want to plug in the, uh, new Dazzle for a second to show you one kind of cool difference. The new Dazzle has a little light on the front with their Dazzle logo there. It's cool. And I've gotten good results from the Dazzle. My cousin even has a Dazzle and she likes it. So last thing I'm going to wrap up this video with here is... Oh, ha. <laughs> Take Hollywood home. That is actually a really cool slogan. But I'm looking in the book here because, I mean... There's a lot of, like, stuff in here, like, like, you want to learn how to use the Pinnacle Studio back then, you use everything. I might have to look in this manual, too. Okay, okay. Here's a little picture of the studio. So, it doesn't look too far off from something like Movie Maker or even some of the modern versions of Pinnacle Studio. And I think Pinnacle Studio 7 was before they started basing it off of Avid Studio. Because I know somewhere in there they reworked... Um, they they redid the code from the ground up so that they weren't carrying all of the original bugs with them. But what I wanted to know is uh, here we go. Equipment requirements, computer. 
PC-compatible computer with Pentium 2 300 or higher equivalent, Microsoft Windows 98 Second Edition, Windows Millennium, never heard of that, Windows 2000, yes, or Windows XP, DirectX compatible graphics card, DirectX compatible sound card, 64 megabytes of RAM, and now I have 10 gigabytes of RAM in my computer, this is old, uh, 128 megabytes recommended, 200 megabytes free of hard disk space to install software. There we go. Oh wait, video capture hardware. Studio can capture video using a variety of devices including Pinnacle Studio DV or other OHCI compliant 1394 port connected to a DV or digital 8 camcorder or VCR. I've used DV before. Like, I think it used Firewire, and it was dumb, because the plug was the same on both ends, but it liked only being plugged in one way. Uh, Pinnacle Studio PC TV or other compliant 848 slash 878 based PCI TV tuner boards. So Pinnacle made some TV tuner boards. Pinnacle Studio DC Plus 10 or A Studio AV analog MJPEG capture boards. Pinnacle USB capture cable. Included in Studio Online and Studio Action, or other direct show compatible USB capture devices. Which is this beautiful thing right here. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're super excited to see speed tests between Pinnacle Studio 20, Pinnacle Studio 22, Pinnacle Studio 18, oh, and Pinnacle Studio 21, compared to Pinnacle Studio 7... Smash that like button down below, get subscribed, and I'll see you in whatever's next.